Yo guys, what's up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to show you a little trick to avoid a shading error as you maybe saw in a thumbnail. So let's go. So the most beginners start sculpting in Blender by pressing Shift A and then adding a UV sphere. And if we go to edit mode, we can see all the vertices here at the top, they are connected with this one vertice. And if I click on the object and go to the sculpting mode and sculpt here, we can see how all the vertices go to this vertice. And if we apply a texture later, we get some shading issues. So I wanted to show you a little trick how you can avoid that. So press Shift A and add a cube. Now you can go to the right to the modifier tab and at the subdivision surface, you can see it subdivides the cube and makes it like a sphere. And I increase the subdivisions here. So let's say maybe six. And then the render later, six two. And we get this, it's like a ball. It's not a real ball, not like a new sphere. And now we can click apply here. And if we go to edit mode, we can see all vertices are connected evenly. These vertices where the edges were look a little bit strange, but that's no problem. And if we go to sculpt mode now, you can see all vertices are spread evenly and we get no shading issues later. Yeah, you can start with the cube or you can press Shift A and add an icosphere here. Then you go under the tab add icosphere to the subdivisions tab and let's increase this to six and we get this ball too. So I prefer this method more than the cube method because the vertices are spread even better. But that's personal preference and if we go to the sculpting tab another time we can see there are no shading issues. Yeah. Here you can see we have triangles and with the cube there were like little squares. Yeah, so this is the side by side comparison. On the left we have the UV sphere and you can see what is going on there. Then we have the icosphere and it's all really good and the triangles are spread evenly over the sphere. And on the right we have the subdivided cube. Yeah, you can decide what you like more but I recommend not using the UV sphere. I hope this tutorial helped you. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.